What is up, YouTube? That's it here. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys the next episode in my How To Use series. We are going to be checking out one of my favorite Pokemon, Gyarados. I've been using this thing for years, and I have six super cool, very different sets. You'd be surprised to see how many different sets you can actually run with Gyarados. Hopefully, you guys learned something. This is going to be, for those of you guys that haven't really seen this series, this is going to be a mix of VGC and single sets. And I think that's actually how you get good at both formats. Like, people always say, like, how do I get better at PGC? How do I make my own teams? Incorporating aspects of, like, singles, battle spot singles, triples, rotation, all those other really cool formats, incorporating those into VGC is what changes the game, and it gives you, like, your own sort of, like, play style. And it's it's that type of play style that makes you a good player. So hopefully you guys learned something from this. If you guys learned something from this, Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to give this video a like. We're shooting for 25 likes in this video. We hover around 20 likes in the past couple episodes, so we're going to try and shoot for 25, and that's all the advertisement that I'm going to be doing this time. We're going to be hopping right into it. The first one that I'm going to be advertising, I, usually all I really do for this type of series is I write down six sets that I have used in the past. I don't write down the Eevee spreads. We're going to put all that stuff in manually and, um, you know, all their move sets and Eevee spreads, but what we do here is I write down six sets of things I've used in the past. I'm leaving tons of links in the description of videos. I probably have 10 videos at least showing all of these sets in action. So if you guys want to see these sets for yourself, if you don't take my word for it, I'll be leaving links to videos so you guys can see official VGC replays. I think we have replays from like one or two actual VGCs put up by Nugget Bridge showcasing Gyarados, showcasing me using Gyarados, and uh, as well as just a ton of other videos from my channel of me using Gyarados at like the very high ends of the ladder. So hopefully you guys do me a favor, check those out. If you guys have any questions, you guys can always refer to the videos or leave those in the comments. But the first Gyarados set we're going to be looking at is the most recent one you guys have seen me use that I've had decent success with. And I know some of you guys are going to hate this set, but uh, this is what we're starting off with here. We're going to start off with a Choice Scarf Gyarados set. And most of you guys are thinking that's like the one set I would never expect from a Gyarados. But uh, this is what we're going to be working with. Uh, I actually used Intimidate. Moxie definitely does work, but uh, we're going to be going with Intimidate here. And I'll be getting two Intimidate Moxie debates as we, you know, get through these sets. But first Gyarados set is obviously first move is going to be Waterfall. Waterfall is obviously going to be Gyarados. It's one of his best moves. Has a 20% flinch ratio and... Uh, that's definitely where the Gyarados is at. So the first move on this guy that I used is Waterfall. And uh, the video that I'm going to be leaving that showcases this is going to be from my VGC 2017 top cut of San Jose Regionals. I used this guy on stream. This guy was incredibly good back in VGC 2018. Sorry, 2017. But it still works in 2018. And I'm going to talk about why in just a moment. So first move was Waterfall. I think I actually ran Ice Bang. Did I run Ice Fang? Well, I'll, I'll talk about what I ran in a minute. The next move was definitely Earthquake. Earthquake, uh, being able to provide just a little bit of AoE damage, being able to hit multiple Mons at once. Sometimes it's just Gyarados' first two Mons, and uh, Earthquake is the move that will carry you to victory. Potentially, you can get a crit. It's good against Taibu Coco and other things like that, and uh, it's pretty good. Earthquake's definitely a need on this set. After that, I did run Ice Fang. No, wait. I didn't run Ice Fang. I didn't run Ice Fang. Yeah, I didn't run Ice Fang, but I, I used Ice Fang later on the season once uh, Garchomp and Salmon's became more popular. But uh, yeah, so first off, we have Waterfall Earthquake. The next move was actually Stone Edge. And uh, Stone Edge was made to catch a couple niche mons off guard, and uh, Stone Edge also really works really well against, like, Charizard Y. They think they're so safe against Gyarados, uh, you know, just because they neutered your uh, water effects with their Charizard Y, but, like, you got that big Stone Edge, you come in hot with that, and you get a free KO and they don't even see it coming because they probably don't even know you're scarfed and you can actually hide that if you have moxie which I'll be getting to I'm definitely going ahead of myself but last but not least the move that puts this whole move set together which made it so good in 2017 especially on an early 2017 was actually flamethrower yes flamethrower Gyarados now Gyarados gets a bunch of special attacking moves but it has a very low base special attack and uh it's it was so gimmicky i got so many free ko's on kartana kartana is the pokemon you're hitting with this like even if they have a steela or like a ferrothorn you probably well maybe not ferrothorn but against a steela you would still waterfall it if you wanted to deal big damage like this flamethrower does not deal damage to steela it's just because kartana has such a low base special d you can actually get away with the flamethrower so we're gonna click the button and see what it actually says just because i'm curious it wants us to be jolly nature with defense you know minus but we're actually gonna go we're gonna go jolly and uh jolly was the correct nature now the reason you want to go jolly is because let's look at gyarados right here so he has 81 base speed so like 146 
which means 50% of that is going to get added to his total. Now, that's going to put him at over 200 base speed, and that is that is the stat that you need. You need over 200 to make this work. Uh, if we took away the Jolly, he was 133. If you 1.5 that, that puts you at like 190-ish. Right? It puts you at like 190-ish, which is not the 200 number. Now, if you're over 200, you're faster than Tapu Koko. You're faster than Jolteon. You're, I think you actually are faster than Mosa if you're Jolly, but uh, I could be wrong. But anyways, Coco, Jolteon, Aerodactyl, all the things that have that like juicy, juicy like 200 number. Like you, you get over those with this Jolly. So I cannot stress enough that almost all of these Gyarados sets are going to be Jolly. If anyone ever asks you what like nature to make your Gyarados, they can say adamant, but you need Jolly if you want to have like a plus one speed, like a Choice Scarf or a da Dragon Dance equivalent, if you want to be faster than Coco and Jolteon. Like the two things that give Gyarados the biggest problems, so you should always go Jolly on Gyaradoses. And uh, this this last like four can literally go wherever. Uh, another thing to note that uh, I was minus uh, special attack nature with the Flamethrower and that still KOs like Jolly and Adamant Kartana now. It doesn't do as well against Vesta Kartana, but you don't really see Vesta Kartana anymore. So this was a pretty cool set. I got top 16 at San Jose Regionals with this. I also uh, won a midseason showdown and got top 8 at a couple other events with this. So I'll be leaving links in the description of me using this team in action if you guys want to see it for yourselves. And it looks like my camera went out. Camera. My son. Why did you go out? Let's put the camera back on. All right, the camera's back. I have no idea how long the camera was out, but hey, it's back. So sorry about the camera going out, but I will be leaving links uh, to videos showcasing the set. And that's one of the strengths of this series is you guys can actually go back and check out the sets for yourself in action and see if you want to use them yourself in real games. So we're going to be going on to the next Gyarados set. The next Gyarados set is a lot more standard. We're going to be typing in Gyarados here. And we're going to be typing uh, another VGC 2017 special Gyarados set. It's going to be the Fly and EMZ Gyarados. So this is going to be a Fly and EMZ and actually... Most people would know that you're supposed to use a shiny Gyarados if you're using the Flying EMZ. It was an event-only Pokemon in 2017. I think now you can actually make it so it's, since Bounce is a move computer, you can just get Bounce that way. Uh, or through other means or whatever like that. So I don't think it has to be shiny anymore, but we definitely used a shiny one in 2017, so that's what I'm going to be highlighting. This one is locked into Intimidate, but again, you could make it Moxie if you wanted to. And uh, first move is going to be Protect because this is a VGC set. After that, you're going to have Dragon Dance. I personally like Dragon Dance. It gives you the comeback potential, and Gyarados is a Pokemon that can like steamroll games and win a ton of games all by itself. After that, we're going to put Waterfall. Uh, Waterfall, just great stab move. And after that's going to be Bounce. Now, Bounce is the move that we're going to be boosting off our Fly and EMZ. And you may be thinking, like, Bounce, that's like a move like Dig. That's a move like Fly. It's not really that good. But we're only really using it to get the big damage off our Fly and EMZ. Remember, Gyarados is a flying type. It stabs flying moves. And uh, a lot of people back in 2017 and still in 2018, they see Gyarados and they're like, all right, well, it could be like Water MZ or he's just going to use Waterfall or something. So if I have like a Tapu Bulu or if like, let's say like the opponent has like Tapu Bulu or if the opponent's using like a rain team, they probably think they're fine. But like, you know, you pop that Tapu Bulu in the face with a Flying EMZ and it goes down, it's going to be pretty good. You pop that Ludicolo in the face with a Flying EMZ, you pop that Pelper, pop that Tapu Fini in the face with a Flying EMZ, they go down, they do not expect it. And sometimes that's all you really need to get the KO. So we're going to go into the EV spread here. We're going to click the button and see what it says. And it is incorrect because you do in fact need to be Jolly. So again, Jolly, full speed, full attack. That is what you need for this guy. If you really wanted to on this set, you could cut a little bit of attack put it in like you know HP or specialty or defense depending on how you know how you really want to play it but this is the set that I ran uh, I got top cut at a couple tournaments with this I'll be leaving links for this I used the, this Gyarados and I think almost every single IC or international online tournament so I'll be leaving links to this one in the comments or in the description below do me a favor check that out if you guys have any more questions about it and uh, moving on we're gonna be moving on to a gen 4 singles Gyarados. So this is going to be a singles Gyarados, but it also works in VGC. And the highlight that I'm going to be showing you guys, the video that goes along with this Gyarados is actually from 2016. So this is a Gyarados that works against all the Ubers and stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to be using my item choice. I think the opposing one ran a Sash, but Sash sucks. So what we're going to be doing is here, we're going to be using a Chesto Berry. And you may be thinking, Chesto Berry, that's the berry that wakes you up. That's why is that on Gyarados? Why wouldn't you just run a Lum Berry? You're supposed to use the Chesto Bear. It's very important that you use Chesto. You could also use Leftovers. You could also use a Z Crystal. You could also use the uh, the Gyarados site. But 
I ran Chestoberry. This set is over 10 years old, and I, I think I have some other videos of me using it as well. I'll link them if I do, but this is a really cool set. So we're going to go with uh, Waterfall was the first move was. So you got that Waterfall. That big stab, 80 damage, not that bad. Next up is going to be a Dragon Dance. And uh, after that, this is where it gets spicy. We're going to go Rest, and we're going to go Sleep Talk. This is going to be a Sleep Talk Gyarados. I'm sure you guys have seen Pokemon like Suicune and stuff use like, you know, Rest, Sleep Talk, Calm Mind, Scald. This works relatively the same way, and I totally just put Dragon Breath there. Well, did I do that for the other ones? Let me actually just go back and make sure. Dragon Dance. All right, cool. We're good. Yeah, Waterfall, Dragon Dance, Rest, Sleep Talk. What we want to do is we want to center Gyarados out. We want to force it into a good position. In singles or doubles, pop a Dragon Dance. We're going to be able to get that Dragon Dance off. Because we intimidated them, they can't deal like big physical damage back to us. So we should be able to get our Dragon Dance off. That's pretty good. Once we get our Dragon Dance off, they do not know that we're super slow. They assume that we have full speed investment. So they, they might switch again. They might play really defensive. Once we get like one or two Dragon Dances off, we're back up to like super Gyarados mode. And if they ever burn us with Will-O-Wisp or Toxic us, uh, we can use rest. If we ever get low HP, we can just rest and sleep talk and continue to rinse and repeat. And the reason we're going to be able to absorb all this damage is because let's see what this one says. It says that it's wrong. That is not the EV spread that we want. So what we actually, wh what I ran back in the day was actually just a careful Gyarados. Like, look at that. Look at that careful Gyarados. So it's full HP special D and we're using Intimidate to balance out that like a uh, special D bulk. So we're so bulky. Like you guys, if, if you guys aren't used to running like full HP Gyarados or especially full HP full special D Gyarados. And if you really wanted to, you can cut some of that special D and put a little bit in defense to make it so you eat rock sides a little bit better. But full bulk Gyarados is so 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 bulky look at these stats like 95 base hp that's no joke 79 is not that great but you have the intimidate to back it up and 100 base specialty like they're pokemon that are really good that are commonly used that would kill for a 100 base specialty like 100 base specialty is actually really good uh this set is really really different it preys on your opponents not really knowing what's going to happen you get a dragon dance off that's fine they're like oh i'm just going to will wisp it well you go for a second dragon dance and they're like lol he's burned it's no biggie and then you pop that rest and then you immediately wake up because you got that chesto berry and you start popping off plus two like uh waterfalls in everything's face and they can't ever one shot you because you're just so bulky like you can even eat some electric attacks. Like, you can eat bolt switches that aren't stabbed. You can eat bolt switches that are stabbed by some weak Pokemon, like Rotoms with zero investment. Like, you can just probably eat that. No problem. So, really cool set. Hope you guys enjoy this one, because this is personally my favorite Gyarados set. It's this one. So, up next, we're going to kick it back again with a little bit more standard play. We're going to go Gyarados. <laughs> Obviously. And we're going to go Gyarados Ike. So this is going to be Mega Gyarados. And so for Mega Gyarados, I still, I would recommend Intimidate in most of these stats. We're going to talk about Moxie a little bit later, but uh, Intimidate, being able to Intimidate them, cut their offensive, like, physical attack, pretty much gets you a free Dragon Dance if you play it correctly in a lot of situations. Moxie's really good. The only good thing about Moxie is it hides your speed tearing and can somehow, sometimes get you some, like, you know, momentum. Like, it can kind of make, give you some comebacks, but not the amount of comeback level that you would get from like a dragon ant so like moxie if you get a ko right you get a 1.5 attack boost but if you send out a gyarados with intimidate and you intimidate them and it forces them to switch because they no longer have the offensive power needed to deal with you and you get a dragon dance that's not only you getting the physical attack boost that's you getting the speed boost as well so that's why i like intimidate hopefully you guys agree with me but uh we're you talking about uh mega gyarados here so we're gonna go protect because this is made for vgc but if you want to talk about singles i'll be changing that later we're gonna go dragon dance uh, Dragon Dance is right here. Then we're going to go Waterfall. And we are going to be going Crunch. Because remember, Gyarados gains Dark Typing upon Mega Evolving. Let's, 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 uh... Where is this? Mega Gyarados. There we go. Let's change it back. There we go. Remember, we gain Mold Breaker upon Mega Evolving. And we're going to talk about that in just a moment. Dragon Dance. Waterfall. And Crunch. So remember, you gain... You gain Dark Typing and Mold Breaker upon Mega Evolving with this guy. Pretty good stuff, so it's a secondary stab move, and it's actually really cool that you are no longer a flying type. You get lowered to the ground, so if you were to pair Gyarados with Tapu Lele, they can't really fake out you anymore. So like a lead like Hariyama and uh, Cresselia, or any sort of fake out, like Incineroar or Cresselia, if they wanted to fake out your Gyarados, if you had Gyarados Lele, you'd now be grounded, they'd be wasting their fake out, and you could just pop that Cresselia right in the face with a stabbed crunch. It'd be pretty good. So we're going to see the recommended set. Again, it recommends us to be adamant. 
Gyarados doesn't actually get any speed upon Mega Evolving, so we're gonna go back to Jolly, because you need that Jolly. Like, it's just too important. It's- I agree. I agree that it sucks that we have to beat Jolly. Like, it- I really want to put it in attack, or I really want to put it in defense or special D. But you need that speed to be able to be faster than Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko is worth respecting, and especially in VDC 2018, there's so many more Pokemon that are, you know, that, that really big speed number. So we have to respect it. It's really unfortunate, but like we have to be able to respect Coco, Jolteon, Aerodactyl, um, you know, and pretty much just everything else that shares that speed hearing. So this is the set that I use for VGC. Uh, I've also switched up in the past. I've cut Crunch in formats that Cresselia isn't really as popular. Crunch is basically just to do with like uh, Cresselia and other things like that. You can also run Earthquake in formats that Rotom's really popular because Rotom is going to get Earthquake through the Mold Breaker on the Gyarados. And there's a couple other uh, interactions where Mold Breaker is like really, really good. Like Mold Breaker is a tier one ability. Those of you that sleep on Mold Breaker, you're regretting it. Mold Breaker is an ability that lets you hit things for kind of like true damage. So it's going to let you hit through the Levitates on their Rotom. It's going to let you hit through the Disguise on their Mimic Hues. It's going to let you hit through the multi scales on their Dragonite. It's a very, very good ability. I'm leaving at least one or two videos of me showcasing off Mega Gyarados with Mole Breaker. This Earthquake set really dealt with Rotom hard in 2014. Like, oh my gosh, 2014, this was my set for Mega Gyarados. It was so, so, so good. And uh, especially because there was like no Cocos. The only thing I had to do with was Jolteon. All you gotta do is get up one Dragon Dance and then pop! Earthquake City. So pretty cool set. Um, you know, I really think it's, it's a great set. If you guys are looking for Mega Gyarados sets, this is pretty much it. You can kind of tech Ice Fang, but I don't really think it needs it. Uh, this is about as standard as it can get. So, going completely different from standard, we're going to be showing off another Gyarados set that is kind of weird. This is going to be a support Gyarados set. So, this one uses... We're going to put leftovers here, but I think Lumberry is what uh, is more commonly used on this set. I guess you could also put, like, a Z-Crystal. You could, again, put Mega Gyarados, but I don't recommend it. So, we're going to obviously go with Intimidate, because we're going to a bulky, like, so full support Gyarados set. So, we're going to go Protect on him. We're going to go... Uh, I'm trying to remember everything that was on this thing. It was... Because it's been a hot minute since I played against it. I know that it had Thunder Wave, so... Thunder Wave, being able to get some speed control going in, that's pretty good. Let me actually just scroll through here and find out if I can... Oh, I remember the move already, but we're just gonna... I'm just gonna see what else this thing gets. Uh, yeah, Gyarados is so, so, so good. Yep, that's what it was. It was Taunt. So it was Protect Thunder Wave Taunt Waterfall. But I just want to talk to you guys for a sec about what other moves Gyarados gets. So this is obviously a support set. You have Speed Control with Thunder Wave. Taunt is just the standard move on Gyarados. I love Taunt Gyarados, and we're going to be talking about it in our last set after this and how good it is. And how I wish it was easier to fit it on the VGC sets, but like, it's it's not. It's it's so hard to fit it onto these sets. Especially like this one. Like, I wish Taunt was viable on this Mega Gyarados set, but it's just not. So, anyways, this is the set. Speed Control with Thunder Wave was even better before they nerfed it, and then Taunt is just always a good move. It helps you just stick on the board as long as possible. But I'm going to talk about other moves that he gets that are useful on the support set. So Dragon Dance, always a good move. Uh, Dragon Tail and Roar are really good moves on the support set. It stops things from, like, setting up and, like, right, for example, you could Dragon Tail a coma o but you can't, like, taunt a coma o Like, you could taunt it, but it's still going to, like, Z-move you and then steamroll you. Like, you can Dragon Tail those type of things. Roar works similar. I don't think Gyarados gets Whirlwind, but you can't really Roar a Como o because he has Downproof. Other things he gets, you you could technically tech Ice Beam onto it if you want to dealt with, like, Wandos and stuff like that. You could put, like, Ice Beam on this set instead of, like, one of these moves and be able to, like, Waterfall Incineroars and, like, Ice Beam Wandos. Like, how cool would that be? Also note that Gyarados gets, like, Reflect. Like, it gets Reflect. That's so busted. You could put, like, a Light Clay on this guy and live forever. He also gets, like, Thunder, Wa Thunder, sorry, Thunder Bolt and Toxic and... He gets a bunch of really just cool moves. He gets Bulldoze. You can do like an Assault Vest Bulldoze set. What else we got? He gets a bunch of the uh, weather setting moves. And oh, Happy Hour. You can see Happy Hour at a plus one to all your stats. That might be like an event only mod. Uh, he gets Icy Wind. That's a really good uh, support move. Like Rain Dance. Again, going with like Rain Dance and Hail. He gets Splash. You go Splash UMZ at that plus three attack. That's decent. And then let's see any other moves. He has Whirlpool which is just decent. I do not recommend that on Gyarados. <laughs> but yeah, pretty pretty good stuff. So uh, this is the move set for him. And the move, the EV spread I have for this was kind of weird. 
So it was gonna be 252, obviously. Oh, well, not, not that. And then I think I ran 136, 120. And the reason I uh, buffed up the 136, I also used it with that nature, was because Rockside was like really, really big when I was using this thing. So it, this, what this set could do, this set was EV trained like this. So it could uh, switch in on Rock Slide and then also eat, um, oh, what was it? It was it was made to switch in on Lando Rock Slide and then eat, after your leftovers, you could eat a return from an Intimidated Kang. So Intimidated Lando Rock Slide plus Intimidated like Kang uh, return. This was mostly like a 2014 set. And I'll be leaving a link to this set in the video. I think this is going to be from... San Jose Regionals, this is going to be a similar set used by an opponent. This is going to be Matthew Jackson's Pickle Swords Gyarados. So hopefully you guys like to see that Gyarados in action. I think I lose that game. But it's definitely one we're checking out. That's a really, really cool game. So the last Gyarados set I have for you guys. Finally time to bust out the Moxie Gyarados. And we're going to talk about what separates a Gyarados, like a regular Gyarados, from a Moxie Gyarados. So the item here, what do we want to go on a Moxie? I think we're actually going to life orb it, and I'm going to talk about that in a moment. So we're going to go Moxie, and this Gyarados is made for singles. Like, uh, we actually, you can use this set in doubles, but there is no room for protect on this. The first move is actually going to be Taunt. The first move is going to be Taunt. The second move is going to be Dragon Dance. Is it Dragon Dance? It's going to be Dragon Dance. And then we go Waterfall. And we go Ice Bang here. And you may be wondering, you've never used the Ice Bang until now. Why are you finally busting out the Ice Bang? What this set does is it picks up like niche KOs on things that people don't really expect. So Taunt, really good stuff. What you do is you taunt their wall. They're going to switch or they're not going to deal with it. And you're going to drag it on their switch. And they're going to switch into something. And hopefully with your Life Orb and plus one, you'll be able to get the KOs. Life Orb means Ice Bang is going to KO those bulky dragons, even like Garchomp. If you're fighting like a Garchomp and you just Ice Bang it without like Life Orb, you're not going to KO it like 90% of the time. And you're especially not going to KO Salamence because you're intimidated now. So this set, what you do is once you get like one Moxie proc, you're untouchable. Because you're going to have like a Moxie proc and a Dragon Dance. And you're just going to be off to the races, just one-shotting everything with Waterfall. And the thing is, you're not one-shotting with Waterfall. They probably don't have that KO potential on you. Or they're going to try and set up and you just taunt them in Dragon Dance again until you can one-shot them or two-shot them. So we're gonna look at the recommended spread and it is again incorrect you need to go jolly it's just so important so this is a pretty cool set uh it's just a little bit different from what you guys would consider a standard gyarados set and i think uh the tweaks of using life orb and using like ice fang in conjunction with like haunt dragon dance waterfall really give it that little competitive edge that you need to make it work in some of your games the set that uh, the video that i'm going to be showing with the moxie gyarados is actually i think a 2016 set of, and I'll talk about it, I'll talk about it. Another Gyarados set that uses Moxie, that is a pretty kind of cool set, is you use, you can use Life Orb, but it cut Ice Fang for Earthquake. And Earthquake's pretty good, it provides, you know, that completely secondary type of typing, like anything that would really take resisted damage from Waterfall, is probably gonna take at least neutral damage from Earthquake. And another thing you can do with Earthquake is you could KO your own teammate to give yourself a moxie boost which is going to be what's shown in the video so hopefully you guys like this sort of set i think my favorite set is probably going to be the chesto berry rest set i really like that one i've had great results with the flamethrower scarf set uh the flying mz probably is the most standard set you're going to see on here by far just be sure to make all your gyarados as jolly right and then the standard mega gyarados set works great in singles and doubles if you're going to run this thing in singles uh you just put crunch here or taunt. Yeah, they just put taunt there. So it's very similar to the Moxie set, but uh, Moxie set runs Life Orb because you want to get those Moxie boosted boys. So yeah, Mega Gyarados, you can run taunt or crunch in that slot. And uh, yeah, then there's this weird bulky set that uses Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave, remember, got nerfed to 90% accuracy and they made it so paralyzing doesn't like completely make them as slow as possible it just takes away like 30 percent of their speed so hopefully you guys like this episode on gyarados and mega gyarados let me know what pokemon you guys want to see me cover in the next episode and remember we're shooting for 25 likes on this video so if you guys like this series if you guys like this video feel free to like it feel free to subscribe to the channel feel free to share the video and uh tell any of your friends that really like gyarados about it so thank you guys for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time peace out